We've got two speakers at the front here, which sort of helps project the sound. We've yeah. got a couple of speakers on the side here. Okay. Now, the joysticks are Sanwa joysticks, yeah. and all the buttons are Sanwa buttons, yeah. all very kindly donated by modmypie.com. So, thank you very much, modmypie.com. Awesome.
Retro Pie! How oh, we missed you! a build video of this okay. from start to finish okay um, yeah. so literally from me getting word <laughs> from me getting the word and yeah. um, putting together uh, uh, this this whole machine okay now, and you did say earlier you did say how difficult was it to fit the buttons yes um, yeah. the buttons actually weren't hard to fit I did make a mistake uh, where I drilled two holes for some I was planning to put six buttons across the top here which were going to be the uh, player one player two right, credit yeah. buttons and the uh, page up page down type buttons and that kind of stuff gotcha. ended up drilling two holes uh, that were too big I yeah. chose the wrong holes or by accident right. stuffed a couple of extra speakers in there so we've okay. got two speakers at the front here which sort of helps project the sound yeah. we've got a couple of speakers on the side here okay. now the joysticks are Sanwa joysticks yeah. and all the buttons are Sanwa buttons yeah. all very kindly donated by modmypie.com so thank you very much modmypie.com awesome you mentioned earlier that there was a bit of a difference uh, about the way the joysticks operated compared to your machine, which is yes. which Vicky is playing on over in the corner. Yes, so yeah, absolutely. So the main difference is you've got um, well, you, you have four sides to the base underlying uh, where the micro switches sit, which means you actually have corners. So when you go down and then down into the corner, you actually sit in the corner. Whereas the joystick I've got is entirely round. It's rounded, so yeah. you don't get that full yeah. corner location so, feeling. So you just have a complete circle. You don't really know if you've nailed the corner, do you? you? Don't. So yeah, yeah. You don't. yeah. Um, Now yeah. I had always intended to upgrade to something that was more like this. My, my uh, Neo Geo arcade machine upstairs has this type of joystick set yeah. up on it. Yeah. Okay. Um, Having had a play on it now, I've now gotten obviously used to that, so we're taking some time to adapt. Yeah. But yeah. I think yeah. this is still a preferable joystick that setup. Still, is still ones. works, okay. Yeah, I think that is preferable. Now, the other thing that, that obviously your machine in the corner there is a professionally built machine. Uh, this was hacked together by me in a heartbeat. Um, the screen on this is a 16x9 screen as opposed to a 4x3. Yes, Yours yes. has the nice sort of CRT type scan lines on it. I've got scan lines. This is actually very good. This actually works for me quite well. That gives me a feeling of nostalgia. Yeah. But this, from a, from a clarity perspective, I'm loving the contrast ratio and, and, and yeah. the way this yeah, just sort absolutely. of looks. But I'm sure there's probably people out there that really don't appreciate the... Um, 16 by 9 aspect ratio instead of the 4 by yes. 3 so yeah. uh, well, interestingly enough that there is actually being used <coughs> on been, borders yes, so I don't know yeah, what's yeah. causing it to do that when the yeah. others aren't but, uh. well I'm sure there's different settings for the different emulators yes. so the emulators on this at the moment I've only got a few different um, mm -hmm. uh, ROMs on there uh, there's um, there's MAME there's Super Nintendo uh, SNES and Mega Drive on here yes. at the moment. Uh, okay. uh, I've got the ability to be able to put some, obviously, many other different ones on there. But uh, yeah, um, so uh, so all in all, for for I think I mean if if, if I were to build this cost of parts, mm -hmm. uh, probably it would be I don't know three hundred quid I reckon in parts. Yes. Yeah. Um, just sort of give us a feel for how much people might pay for a game that Vicky's playing on over there in the corner. Um, about 500. Oh right, so, so to be fair then, <laughs> to be fair I've only saved 
I've only saved a couple of hundred quid then really, haven't I? <laughs> and it was a hell of a lot of effort. <laughs> yes. Okay, okay. Yeah. All now, right. Now okay. that's not entirely true. It, it was 500 and, yeah, about 500 and some pounds for the particular one I have there. Yep. Most are yep. over a thousand. Okay. That was a particularly good find that I ended up getting. Um, since brand, brand, I, brand new, I'm guessing. Yeah, yeah, oh, brand right, new, okay, yeah, brand yeah, new. yeah, 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 um, very good. Uh, and I've also ended up swapping out the insides of it, rewiring the joysticks, changing the joystick and What was okay? So, so when, when when you bought it yeah. at five hundred quid, then yeah. what was what was the deal? What was yeah. what what didn't float so, your boat? So it was running wow. a uh, a device called a Pandora's box. Okay, which plugs into a jammer harness, which is the standard arcade setup. Yeah. Um, so it was effectively a Chinese multi-arcade jammer device, right. which runs, uh, I'm not sure all of the insides of it, but it doesn't, it didn't emulate everything particularly well, and it okay. only did arcade, yeah. so it only did yeah. MAME equivalent, but it wasn't okay. MAME. Right. Um, it had, I'm trying to think, like 600 and some games on it, okay. and it was missing a bunch of games that I wanted, yeah. so it was okay, yeah. it was not great. Okay. Um, so I ended up swapping it out with a PC inside it. So okay. I had an old laptop lying about, which I then turned into a Linux box running some software. So it's running a Linux PC inside it. Okay, okay. Um, okay. Which meant I had to use the yeah. uh, zero lag encoders, right. USB encoders, well, which I think is actually, similar though, to, to what be, you're using. To be fair, to save you having to build an enclosure, which to yes. be honest was the hardest right. part of this whole yes. experiment, putting all this together, the hard bit was you know, making all the wood and whatnot. Yeah. So, yeah, just, um, mm. so even if you were to buy that and then, you know, gut it and put yeah. your own kit inside of yeah. it, yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Theoretically, you could have put this, yeah. the brains of this inside yeah. something like that. Okay. No, um, another question then. So, what yeah. do you think about the playability of the games on here? Uh, do they feel like they play okay? Yeah, uh, yeah. I had a quick go on a few, and from what I saw, everything seemed to run at the right speed. It seemed to run without uh, any tearing or any artifacts. So screen tearing, no screen good. artifacts. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. yeah. Um, there's, I, I didn't end up playing any of the Super Nintendo or Mega Drive games. It would be nice to have a quick crack. Sure, yeah, we'll have a go at those in a moment. Yeah, of course. Yeah, um, yeah. yeah. In fact, what we'll do is we'll swing it around so that we can play side by side. It's yeah. so much yeah, more yeah, fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Micro machines. I've, uh, re, I've just suddenly refound micro yeah, machines. Yeah, micro machines tanks is fantastic. Yes. Anyway, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So two two players. Yeah, yeah. Um, because with those, if the speed isn't right, they yeah. really stand out. Yeah. So yeah. I've had a okay. few. So Ed. Yeah, uh, had yeah, a, yeah. a Raspberry Pi setup, yeah. and it just ran too fast. Okay, and you could tell the moment you were playing some of the games, everything was just moving too quickly. just too quickly. So yeah, the, okay. The, okay, whatever it was, it was governing the uh, speed of it wasn't right. Okay, okay. But no, no, it's all really good. Okay, good, excellent, good, 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 good. Well, I'm happy it's got the um, the seal of approval. Yeah, the tabletop is always. Yeah, a bit it's more nice practical. I yeah, think, the bar that's top. The thing yeah, with the arcade machine like you, that. You've basically you that's, have. you've got to have the space to be able yeah. to accommodate it. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Cool. Yeah. Well, tell you what, it would be nice to have a quick run around some of your bits of kit yeah, in a sure. moment if uh, yeah. if you if you have time and um, yeah, maybe that's even uh, fire up one of your pinball machines. Can do. That would be awesome. Yeah, no worries. All right, thanks very much. Cheers. Cool. Round one. Uh, Wiggle up a little bit. Because <laughs> oh, it's going to to check the screen pairing. Ah, right, okay. Tend to get. You don't know it's coming up too well. Yeah, no, it's, it's nice to be, as you say, it's nice to be able to play with somebody that um, knows how this game, how to play this particular game. So what are we playing now? Uh, ghouls, and, ghouls and Ghosts. So, um, incredibly hard arcade game from Capcom. Right, okay, so this is this is your multi-game arcade machine. And uh, this was the one that you got for quite a good price, but changed the insides out of it. And um, the joysticks are 
Yeah, rounded. Yeah, I can feel that straight away. What about the buttons? Uh, oh yeah, the buttons feel fine. The buttons, uh, yeah, buttons, buttons are buttons. buttons are fine. No problem. It's just a different type of joystick. Different type, yeah. Step right up.